talking about this gentleman's property right here. Yeah, you. He knows it. I have to have a building permit for what I do. Please stop touching me, sir. But he don't. Hi. I need to talk outside when you're ready. I don't want to talk to you. You don't want to? You want to talk about me, but you don't want to talk to me. I don't think so. I don't think so. Big boy be behind that camera, ain't you? Fucking Welcome to yet another episode of uh, what we uh, have to call our local government here. Um, consider this like the uh, the last stand, the last line uh, for protecting freedoms in America uh, is that you know really to me the, the the first line and the last line are the same thing. The First Amendment, freedom of speech. Heading up to the meeting right now, so I'll put you in the secure driving mount. Get this thing flipped around here. And that way we can uh, prep up for this crazy meeting on the drive there. I will try to remember to speak up to account for background noise. <clears throat> All right. I think we about set. Maybe rock that thing back here. Says for secure for driving. <laughs> Gotta close the space hatch. <clears throat> All right, safety first, then teamwork. <clears throat> so you know, the main points uh, are still up in the air uh, going on for this town township meeting tonight. Uh, we got the looming second phase of this water project. And uh, there's nothing else to call this but tow theft. It's, it's stealing. It's robbery. They're, they're openly misappropriating tax dollars. And in a, in a major way, I mean, uh, the first phase was, I believe, was five point one million dollars or more, um, with over a million dollars, I believe, going to the t the attorney and the engineer. Excuse me, I do safety first drive. <laughs> Oh man, there's already two squad cars here. Let's see, oh, we'll get a good parking spot today. Here, I'll let you, I'll let you see the police over there. They're, they're back there in the back. No. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get out just in case anybody wants to talk on this camera real bad. 
factor that would most guarantee that they would test positive for PFOS. That's one of our local characters here. <laughs> That's actually the uh, deputy clerk's husband, I believe. So, Hello, how are you tonight? Good, how are you? Hey, how are you doing tonight, brother? Another day in paradise, eh? Here we got a good citizen. Oh, I'm always a good citizen, and I'm also even a better patriot. Desert Storm veteran. Yes. I Thanks for your job. service, Steve Coates. I just did my job. Now I'm going to see if Hello, I can do Ms. my Coates. job tonight. Good to see you. See if I can do my job tonight. Hello, ma'am. How are you tonight? Let me grab that door. Thank you. See, it's getting about that time. Of course, oh, we got a third officer rolling up for safety. Good. And of course, uh, here's our lobbyist from Consumers Energy here to uh, strong arm our township into changing our solar ordinance. It's unfortunate. Who would have thought that you'd start having a lobbyist on the township meeting level, but they're here very openly pushing to get the ordinance not just changed, but to get it exactly how they want it. <laughs> Got reinforcements here to keep everybody safe from freedom of speech. Somebody must have put up the bat signal. Yeah, so with the solar ordinance, I actually uh, was on planning commission. That was before they had uh, started the mass conspiracies around here and uh, helped them get a uh, zoning ordinance passed for the solar that protected us from having to have the solar fields from consumers' energy. And... Uh, so now they've been here pushing and forcing and bullying until they've got one township uh, board member to openly confess on video that they have to change the solar ordinance to let consumers put the solar fields in or else we'll get our butts sued off in court. <laughs> our local representatives, you know, we got them on camera saying we should tell them to sue us then. So we should not be bullied by local corporations like that, but our, our local township officials here are deciding to bow down to it and uh, put a, I guess, put themselves a little further up a rung on the uh, crony totem pole. So, hello officer, how are you tonight? Good, how about you, Mr. Schatz? Pretty good. <laughs> Mr. Officer Scott, good to see you again. Good to see you. <laughs> Looks like a full house. Better get a good spot. But you know, a lot of the reason that people don't want those solar fields is not just because they're like ignorant hillbillies that fear technology or some kind of assertion like that. A lot of them are well educated on the technology and they, they, they feel it is not the wise technology to invest in.
Many experts say that solar not used immediately upon generation loses all efficiency as long as it has to be banked, transformed, transmitted. And pretty much a lot of people feel this is just happening because certain parts of the federal government are still trying to push an initiative. But maybe the people are not, you know, for that initiative and we're supposed to be a democratic republic. Oh, it looks like we got no supervisor tonight. It's all right, though. We still have the attorney, so we'll get everything that Calhoun County and Battle Creek want done done. I'm going to wait just a moment to bring the uh, meeting to open the meeting. Oh, okay. Uh, so we haven't. I'm going to open the chapter of the first board meeting, which is 10 It is 7 o'clock on the dash. First order of business is um, due to the supervisor being on an excused absence for this meeting, we need to have a motion to appoint a member to run the meeting, the chair of the meeting. A motion to appoint Trustee Beamish to preside over the meeting. Support. And we'll do a voice vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. Let's get the speed of rolling and start with the motor. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This item have public comment on the agenda items only. Um, you all know how to behave and conduct yourselves appropriately, and we're not going to hammer on that. Please uh, be respectful of everybody in the room. There's lots of different opinions in here. Everybody's opinion matters. Um, you got three minutes to talk. Come to the podium. And Bruce, if somebody can move that thing out. And Mr. Scott, you going to lead us off? Yes, sir. Uh, first agenda item I wanted to speak on was the solar ordinance. Uh, it's time to set the record straight again because many times in this township it's been in question. Uh, the existing ordinance before this forced review and forced change and revisions and more changes and all this, the original ordinance had a stipulation at the end of the ordinance that held any corporation or any business or any commercial interest to the same standards as a mere peasant, as a property owner, as a citizen. And so that makes it to where just by what was already existing previously in the ordinance, the setbacks, the you know different conditions, you know, mainly there is a condition about how much of the property can be covered by solar equipment. And it pretty much would make it probably not a profitable venture for someone to have a solar farm. Because we left our existing solar ordinance in place. Now, about that fact, Many of the board members, including the supervisor, have outright lied, ball faced lied on video repeatedly, and said that such was not the case. The fact, putting a new ordinance forward to further protect us from commercial solar. But that's a lie. One of the board members, Mr. Beamish, finally admitted that we were doing this so that we would not be sued by Consumers Energy. And many times they've had their lobbyists 
and different agents sitting here in our meetings like they are trying to bully, harass, and intimidate us into moving in the direction that they want us to. But that's not the way America is supposed to work. We've spoken to local representatives in high positions about this, and they said that the representatives of Bedford should act like Americans and represent and if consumers is going to sue them, let them have their day in court and let people see what they're up to. If the people are for it, why are we afraid to tell them the truth? I also notice on the agenda there is a correspondence from Consumers Energy right on our agenda. I find that objectionable because just yesterday one of my older neighbors came up to me and he said, you know, I wrote a letter to Bedford back in February, asked for a response. So no one has ever responded to me in any way. So I've been paying taxes here for 40 years. Thank you, Mr. Board members, Greg Board, Affairs Manager with Consumers Energy. See Patch pulling bright. Um, as far as the solar systems, we can all go look near Marshall and you can look down 13 Mile Road. You can look along all, a lot of different areas that are all agricultural that thousands of acres has now been cleared off and all you'll see is steel poles and lots of solar panels. So my problem is, is Bedford Township is a agricultural community. We're not an industrial community. One, if we need power and they have to put solar panels, I have a perfect house that's got a roof that faces the south, perfect for putting solar panels on. Why can't I do that? But they won't support that because there's no money in it. Why don't they build on sides of hills that are sloping, that are wooded, that faces south? No, they'd rather use nice, flat agricultural land that we can no longer grow on, but we can always eat solar panels, right? They're delicious. And in 20 or 30 years from now, when they're outdated and they have to be replaced, where are we gonna dump them? Mm -hmm. Which, which, which facility are we going to recycle them? As far as I understand, there is no way to recycle them. So we're going to dump them. Kind of like the windmills, the carbon fiber blades that are being dumped in the ground and being buried because you can't recycle them. At what point are we going to grow up as adults and realize that there are better ways of doing things and this is not it? Thank you. Thanks. Anyone else for public comment on agenda items? <laughs> Mr. Heiko? <coughs> Hello, Adam Heiko, former supervisor. We get on to Officer Mavalli. Um, I'd like to say some stuff so that she can hopefully respond during her time here. Um, let's see, your Michigan election law, 168.368, events creating a vacancy in the township. I believe you were alerted of a uh, situation here that you were investigating. So I've got some, some help for you. Um, this law here says that the township office becomes vacant upon the happening of any of the following events. Death of the incumbent, his resignation, his removal uh, from office for cause is ceasing to be a resident of the township where his office is located. We can just stop right there, um, because we actually have a recording I can play. Actually, Mr. Heifer, could you move on to something that's actually on the agenda? Yeah, this is this is so that she can respond and it's on the agenda. So you hold it here. Her comments are not to take by you. So you move on to something um, else would you sit to your your seat? Mr. Beamish, you know what this is about, and so he wants to deny right. it. So, First warning, because you're not gonna argue with me. Either talk about the agenda or move on. 
to wealth the terms you received. Officer Lavalley is coming up to speak here. And Officer Lavalley, you investigated Mr. Mr. Beamish. Second warning. Mr. We're not, here to, had, we're not here to debate what you want to talk about. This is not on the agenda. One. And you are not going to dictate what Ms. Lavalley talks about. Well, would you like to sit down now? She is on the agenda moving? and is an agenda item. So, and I am a resident here that has all right. No, you have, please let me know. No, we're talking here. here. I'm giving my warning. This is not on the agenda. I'm not tolerating it. I, so, you might. This is not how no. you get to control meetings, guys. This you are not talking so about about the You're going to violate my rights and you're going to be no, sued. Not, you can be sued. You're You understand this, Seth? Another lawsuit. Seth, can you understand and un instruct the officer, please? Meeting. He was talking about it. You understand that this is about him and his violation of not living here. You understand this, right? Oh, you you understand that then, then you're going to come out and take and report of this evidence right now, then, right? You're going to do that? Sergeant will come do it, right? Gammons? You're a good guy, right? Gammons? <coughs> Try. You try. Well, let's let's go and Talk see. Not an agenda item. For an agenda item because they made him. The All right, anybody else want to talk about something on the agenda? They made him the chair because he the doesn't agenda, want to be agenda. exposed that he no longer anybody lives else? here. We need here. He does not live in the township. And you all need to stand up and say that he needs to resign. Every board member. I can't hear. You officers. I think we can do one. All right. Okay. Vote comment time. We we'll vote, vote comment time. Three minutes, of course. <coughs> the quorum is appreciated. Mm -hmm. Mr. Van Gogh, we are in the front seat there, so you're welcome to go. Thank you. Of course, my name is Peter Van Gogh. Way back before my property was even designated as Bedford Township, when it was still the city of Bell Creek, Randy Johnson was a trustee, and he talked about the importance of borders and boundaries. We are also a nation of laws. And the importance of following those laws. What good is a law if it's not enforced? A couple laws in particular come from the Michigan Legislature Laws on Election Rules. Section 168.11, residents. As used in this act for the registration and voting purposes means that place at which a person regularly sleeps, keeps his or her personal effects, and has a regular place of lodging. There's more, but the pertinent part came up. Section 168.368, the township offices become vacant upon the happening of any of the following events. Death of an incumbent, his resignation, his removal from office for cause, his ceasing to be a resident of the township where his office is located. Why is this pertinent? There happens to be a trustee sitting at this table who is not a qualified elector in Bedford Township, not even a qualified elector in Calton County. This trustee is, in fact, a resident of Barry County. I have stated to Officer LaValle of the Commission of a Crime Against the People of Bedford Township that crime being larceny by fraud. This trustee is not qualified to sit at this chair. He has not been a resident of this township in excess of six months. He's removed his possessions from his declared residence. He's sitting here fraudulently. He's accepting compensation from this township, funds he is not entitled to. That is larceny by fraud. I invite him to sue me if he wishes. This trustee is very fiendish. Deny it. Sue me. Whatever you want to do. Thanks for coming. Ben Wilson. Mr. Steve, back there. <clears throat> to get right back to straightening out some of the lies that have been told. Uh, our good treasurer Miller pointed out to the people that uh, the ordinance officer here in town was double dipping and uh, getting paid both his standard wage and then on top of that, getting paid 
things that were not spelled out in his compensation package. Uh, the supervisor said from the board that that was false, that he was not getting paid both, he was getting paid one or the other. Uh, such has been found out to be a total lie by her again. He was in fact getting paid both. Maybe that's why he's no longer with us, or maybe he's no longer with us over the incident. He was with the previous supervisor pointing a gun at a citizen. Uh, maybe some of those other improprieties, you know? It goes to how we get these people. You, you know, we got that ordinance officer without uh, opening being made public, without people being able to apply and compete for the position. Uh, much like it seems like we're getting our new zoning administrator, which I'm sure she's a great person and it's absolutely nothing personal, but the process is not supposed to be that we go ahead and fill the position and then make it official later. And that's what happens here in Bedford. And then we keep getting winded up having subpar service because that's not how you do it. That's not how you get the best. You don't get the best attorneys by having no competitive bid process for attorneys with the best hourly rate for the people here. You don't get the best civil engineers when you have no competitive bid process like when we get our civil engineers paying them. It's going to be into the teens of millions of dollars to extend water service, just extend existing water service from Battle Creek over to a few dozen residences. Meanwhile, just over a little ways, a few miles from here, Vermontville has provided water municipal for their entire village, an entire new system, water tower, treatment system, pumps, delivery, connections, everything, for a little over three million, for an entire village. That's but about a fourth or a fifth the size of Bedford Township. So uh, where's the misappropriation coming from? I guess it would be like when we got our non-competitive dead engineer that was in here snickering about nobody would ever get access to this kind of money again. We better jump on. But, you know, that non-competitive process, that's like how we got our deputy clerk. Maybe that's why there was no notice to the community on the vote that we just had. Nothing on the township website. Nothing on the township Facebook page. You know, maybe they went up to their minimum standards of posting it in a newspaper that no one gets anywhere. But is that what we're doing? Is trying to have the minimum notification that we can to the people? Thank you, Mr. Chad. Anyone else wish to speak tonight? Trustee uh, sure. Uh, I think Mr. McKinley already pointed out that he is getting bids. Um, that's already been clarified. It's been clarified numerous times. Um, Mr. Savio is retiring. He will be missed. Um, so we are looking for a replacement. Um, other than that, thank you for coming. It's been a long meeting, but we appreciate all of you. Anything? Alright. Um, some of the people are crusaders. It'd just be interesting if people would actually crusade for the for something that doesn't have an axe to grind. And while you're going through my house to see what my personal lung is still there, could you dust and vacuum, please? <laughs> um, zoning admin, Karen, thanks for filling that position. That's an interim position. The definition of interim, I think, is pretty self-explanatory. It's interim. Um, if Ms. Lewis cares to continue on with this, she'll be interviewed and hired by the board. Um, I really appreciate that she's here, even behind on getting permits, because our residents deserve to have so many in the interim doing work. So my hat's off to um, Mr. McKinley for hiring an interim person to fill that position. If you have a problem with interim, you probably have a problem with everything. Joyce? So, Erica, where wants to go first? This is mine short. Mine short. Um, there were 519 voters that turned out. We had 80 voters in person. It should have been the lines up to vote in person. Eight for the whole day. It was advertised. The school district mails out advertisements as well. As well. I take offense. I do. I take offense to you, to my deputy being called out. 
She is amazing. She does a lot of work, not just in the clerk's office. She will help anyone, anytime. And for, for you to say that about her is, is not okay. So um, I mentioned at every single board meeting that we had an election again, go late Hastings at every single board meeting. It was in the newspaper. It was posted in the lobby. That's, it's on the news. It's, it's everywhere. So that's, that's what I have. That's it. That's it. So right down here, so we skip over that. Slide of 18 is due. We'll get your information. Next meeting, September 14th. Same time, same place. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Hello, sir. Hey, how you doing? I don't know why there's certain don't have or don't have buildings. I'm talking about this gentleman's property right here. In fact, I think he's well aware of what's going on there, and I'd like to know if there's something going on to rectify that situation. I'm just Why is it fair that I have to have a building permit for what I do? Please stop touching me, sir. But we don't. And it's your responsibility to make those people aware that are under you to make them do their jobs. And I'd like to know why it's not being done. Building permits are required. And we're saying that an individual does not have a building permit. Um, we are invested, we will investigate all issues that are brought to our attention. Okay, we uh, so some properties are under investigation. Okay. So when can I expect the more solid answer about Well, I can so it's not fair to the other citizens of the township when yeah, we pay yeah. our, our share of taxes and other people don't. Yeah, you. He knows it. So as I consult with the attorney. Hi. I need to talk outside when you're ready. I don't want to talk to you. You don't want to? You want to talk about me, but you don't want to talk to me. Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Big boy be behind that camera, ain't you? Then, up, just the I get them off here. Now you're going to try to apologize to her after you said something? <laughs> Sitting in the Oh, Mr. McKinley. Oh, we got Mrs. Shots pulling back up. She must have forgot something. What'd you forget, baby? It's the Heikel is too? Threw it back out. Well, yes, ma'am. I guess I'm gonna realize that. It was crazy. If that was all that it was. She wanted to you in the parking lot. Over that? Yeah. She wanted to. That was it was crazy. just that? Oh. Wow. She's, dude, she's just trying to get you in trouble. Yeah. And instigate. Yeah, there that's what I do with slamming into me and stuff. Yeah. We'll get the video. Dude. Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. Their game is weak. Yeah, we gotta get going. Home All right, God bless so. y'all. Thanks for your help. Have a good night. Thanks for sticking yeah. up for your community. Bye, everybody. Oh, yeah. I just hope that Tom Cruise is still young enough to play you in the movie version of this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> There, there go the hero Heikelis. Yeah, court today even. All right, y'all. All right. God bless y'all. Stick up for each other's rights. Defend each other's freedoms.